basically today I want to share one day living at the farm that's it <laughs> First thing first, I'm brushing my teeth, cleaning my face, looking around, desperately running to the washroom to take a poop. We're using dry toilet system. Pee-pee goes here, poop goes here, and then we cover it with sand mixed with ashes. So it kind of prevents it from smell, flies, and enjoying the nature. Push, push, push. Oh. Feeding me dogs and a cat. Abby. Pepe, Pepe, hello. One of my daily tasks is to greet this guy. Navy is giving birth soon, so I give her special massages. Every day now. This is where I usually meditate every morning. Today is a little wet, that's why I brought pillow to sit. And I woke up a little later today. Usually I wake up around 6, 6 30 in the morning. But since yesterday we fell to sleep around 10 at night, which is really late. <laughs> We usually go to bed around 8 p.m. and sleep before 9 because I feel like with this altitude I need more rest. I do love stretching every morning to keep the energy flowing and I do especially like I do enjoy circular movements of my shoulders, of my spine, of my pelvis area to have the blood flowing it helps me to connect with my body and feel it more deeply throughout the day whatever my needs are should I rest or should I stretch more I'm so allergic to this guy but <laughs> but enough is enough the reality of this meditation is that I'm covered to his flights. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I met one guy here. He's from Peru. And he told the story that once he lived in the cave and he was meditating. And he was covered with flies too. And that was a deep meditation. And the fly told him that this is their planet. And they were here before us. And he was irritated before that flies were all around his body. But after the flight told this, he was like, Ooh, okay, your planet. And he kind of found peace with that, I guess. And that's why every time when I'm meditating and I'm covered with flies, I'm thinking about this. And I'm trying to be calm. And I'm actually at peace with that. But when they're biting. Or there are many mosquitoes in the mornings and evenings here. So I don't want to be beaten by mosquito either. That's the only reason why I'm kind of like mm -mm -mm, moving them from me. Like me. Sometimes I journal in the mornings um, to have intentions for the day or to write 
my dreams and trying to describe them and connect them with what's going on with my life, with my mental state. Usually all people who live at this Echo Village gather together for the breakfast and we hear this sound around 7.30 in the morning, so which means everybody come. And since today I'm a little late, I'm having breakfast by myself. And we usually have oatmeal, um, porridge with some fruits, nuts, seeds. Mm, usually it's every day. Today we have a little barley inside too. Um, sometimes you get tired of it, sometimes it's just fine. And then we usually meet with everybody after the breakfast to organize who is going to do what on the maintenance of the farm and our the owners of the project like the owners of the farm they're gone today they went to Lima so we kind of scheduled everything for the next week so that's why it's gonna be pretty chill today which I love so everyone are functioning on their own pace cacao plant became a sacred and such important part of my life it makes every day as a ceremony and I can have cacao or dark chocolate 85 90 percent every day I mean whenever I get a calling whenever I feel like most of the days uh, back in Toronto I used to I used to love and I'm still in such a love with Choco Soul that's the brand Choco Soul, and that's the only one I can recommend. Um, and here I'm drinking real Peruvian cacao, which makes me connected to this place even more. And so much gratitude, so much gratitude for cacao. So right now I'm going to open the water because we still the farm still doesn't have like a direct access. We're sharing with the neighbor, and to get there. We need to climb all the way there. But I have my gang with me. You got it? This is how larva of mosquitoes looks like they attach themselves to the surface level of the water and go and finally we're here just need to Wait. open up this Usually when I climb here, I take time just to rest and enjoy the view. Filtering some water. Today I'm responsible for drying and packing dried dry herbs. Continue the drying room. And I need to dry some of the munya. This is the Peruvian mint. First of all, I need to introduce myself to the plant, greet the plant. I usually tell how beautiful they are and 
Then I ask permission if I can harvest her gifts hmm, for our community. I tell her the reason and yeah, do it with gratitude, do it with so much respect for these gifts which Mama Gaia provided us with. And Munya, you're so beautiful, so beautiful. О, сейчас будет, смотрите. really nice lunch I had a face massage and just gonna rest now it's 4 p.m. maybe we're gonna have fire we don't know I think I'll just do Duolingo so I'm learning Spanish now and just read a book just enjoy this it's raining right now and I'm in my rubber boots Roasting dried corn. Here it's called concha. Concha. But in Russian, it has kind of different meaning. This word, but it's very delicious. Mm -hmm. 